Hi, welcome to Musicians Edition. Today we have a request for Believer by Imagine Dragons for flute. So if you need the sheet music, it's in the description below. You will have to purchase this song, but that's just because of copyright rules. I can't give this piece away for free. I didn't write it. But anyway, this song is actually for an instrument in C. So we're gonna play along with the piano which is really cool. But we're gonna figure out our part before we play with the piano. So why don't we take a look at first our key signature. What key signature are we in? We're in B flat. So we have B flat and E flat in our song. Tell me about our time signature. We're in four, four. So we have four beats to the measure. So before I talk about the little rhythms that's on the top here, let's take a moment and we're gonna see that we have F sharps. So we need to just make a note that even though our key signature calls for B flat and E flat, we're also going to see some F sharps. All right, now that we have that out of the way, we can take a look at the rhythm here. It looks a little confusing. So in parentheses, we see that the two eighth notes equals a weird tripleted quarter note with the eighth note. So it's gonna have a little bit of a swing feel to it. You see how it kind of like, it's like long, short, long. It's very much kind of like a swing. So we'll just have to pay attention to that. That means that our counts are not exact like we've been doing. It's going to be a little lingered and short, longer and short, okay? But we'll work on it as we progress. Hopefully you've also heard the song so you kind of know what the rhythm sounds like. All right, so looking at our measure, well, to us it's measure four because we're going to rest for four measures and then we're gonna come in on G. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, so why don't you play measure one with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent, now let's move on to measure two, well, it's our measure five. And then it's gonna sound like this. So even that's a little swingy. So let's play measure four and five together. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent, and this is all tongued, even though I just slurred those last two, it seemed natural, it's wrong. We're tonguing the whole time in this section. All right, and then looking at measure seven, it's also very swing feel. And I did seven and eight, but it's almost a repeat of what we just played. It's just a little bit more swingy because we have the quarter note in here. So the four measures that I just played sound like this. Okay, so like I said, it's more of a swing. So why don't we give those four measures a try? All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job, and then the following measure is just G to B to G, and these ones might be a little bit more straight on because we don't have any eight notes. Okay, so let's give all those measures a try from where we first start. We're ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent, now that G is a perfect place to put a little bit of vibrato to give it a little bit of emotion. So that's what I suggest is putting a vibrato right on that G. And then we're going to slur down to a D. Okay, and then we're gonna take a quick breath. I mean, not a literal breath unless you need to, it's just an eighth rest. And then going down, you know, descending down into eighth. 
once again, those kind of have a little bit of a swing feel to it. All right, so why don't we give that measure four up until the end of 10 a try. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So, all right, so now we should be able to finish this section off because it's back to just the qu quarter, quarter, half to half. And it's the same thing. I would put a vibrato on both that G and that F sharp. Those are slurred together. So that's going to sound real nice. All right, so now let's play from measure four up until we hit that repeat, but don't repeat yet. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So, though I don't see any form of dynamics, it sounds really good if on that first half note on that G, um, it's measure nine, if we decrescendo it down to a piano, I think that sounds really lovely. That's what I just played and I thought that was really nice. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna decrescendo down to a piano. And then when we come back in on that eighth note on the D, I'm gonna straight come right back in as forte. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. You don't have to, the sheet music doesn't say that, but you know, we want emotion into the music that we play and dynamics is one of the ways that we do that. All right, moving forward. So now we've hit the repeat. Now, where does this repeat take us to? It takes us to measure four where we first came in. But now when we repeat, we're gonna hit that second play. Okay, so that means we're not gonna hit I mean, we're gonna still hit that F sharp, but it's going to then move on to the quarter rest, to the eighth rest with those eighth notes, okay? So, why don't we just give that a try? We're gonna do measures four, we're gonna hit the repeat, go back to four, we're gonna hit that second ending, and we're gonna stop at measure 14, okay? But, just before we play that, let's talk about this tripleted eighth notes, okay? So, those normally are Triple it, triple it, okay? So that's how we play them. So when we look and see one, like it would be this. And a triplet takes up one beat. Triple it, triple it. But in this instance, it's gonna start off with the rest. So it's gonna just be bullet, 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 okay? So it's not quite, you know, one and, bullet. It's a little faster than that. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one, two, rest. All right. All right, let's give this a try now. Okay, so now we're gonna play from measure four. We're gonna hit that repeat, go back to four, play. We're gonna take the second ending and then we're gonna stop. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Hopefully those tripleted eighth notes at the end made sense, but as we go along, it should make a little bit more sense too and come a little more natural. All right, so on to 14. Though we're on the same note, our rhythms might be a little tricky here between the triplets and the slurs going in. So playing it slow, it would just be. Okay, so it's going to just be one and ta ta. Ta, 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 ta. I know that's a little, it's hard to explain. So 
make sure you just really count in your head. I guess that's what it is. Count on your head while you're playing and just remember the threes are triplets. Triple it. Ta 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 ta. Okay? So it sounds like this. Okay? So this section here might need a little practice on your own. You can still use the metronome, just remember the triplets are triplet. Okay, so let's give that measure 14 and 15 a try because they're both on the same note and they both have the same rhythm. Mm, you know what? And we might as well do the following measure as, no, no. Okay, so we'll do measure 14 and 15. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, I know that might be a little tricky, but like I said, you might need to take a little time to work on that. Just take it slower, work your way there. Sometimes it helps too if you take the slur out first just to get that and then bring the slur in. Whatever you need to do. All right, looking at the following measure, it's gonna be the same rhythm, but now we're going on to B flat. All right. And then the following measure, measure 17, are all triplets on A. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Okay. So let's actually just do measure 17 right now so you can get used to the triplets. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, let's do 14 to the end of 17. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. If you're still a little confused, it may also help to play with the piano part too um, because it'll kind of do the same thing, so it'll kind of be the leader of it. All right, but we'll play the piano part at the end after we talk about everything in sections. All right, so moving on to 18, this rhythm is very similar except for in the middle there, instead of having the two eighth notes, we now have just a quarter note. Okay, and in my opinion, it's a little bit easier with the quarter note. Um, hopefully you feel the same way, but I guess it really doesn't matter because we still have to do both rhythms regardless. <laughs> All right, so measure 18 and 19 because they both have the same rhythm and the same note. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then measure 20 is the same rhythm, but once again on the B flat. All right, so why don't we take it from 14 to the end of 20? All right, ready? One, two, three, four. following measure goes down to A and then it's basically the same rhythm except for we're taking the second half out. Alright, so let's play 14 all the way to where we just finished, so at the end of those two rests. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect, then we're gonna rest one, two, and then moving on, we're gonna rest for two more, one, two, and now we're going to go into the lyrics. So it's gonna be, okay? So it starts with the G going down to the D. One, two, okay? So, Let's just give the try from, um, that's the Del Sueño repeat, that little S with the slash and the two dots. That's the Del Sueño. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we come back to it. But we're going to start from the Del Sueño, and we're going to play t measure 23, and we're going to stop in the middle of 24. We're going to stop on that rest, okay? Ready? 
One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Now measure 23 is still kind of, you know, we're still gonna swing a little bit to it, okay? So it's not directly on. Let's do it one more time, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we're going to rest for one, and then we have the eighth rest, and then we're going to come in. And then to quarter, quarter. Okay, so let's play from the del sueño to the end of that rest now. So after the F sharp. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right, perfect. I think we're ready to move on to measure 26. And we're basically going to do the same thing. So it's just like a repeat. All right, so let's take it from the del sueño to the end of measure 29. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right. And now it's still part of the lyric part. So we're going to do C to D and we're going to slur this. Okay. Now here might take a little counting a little bit because we have the dotted quarter. All right. So just remember to still kind of count a little bit and we still have a little bit of a delay. All right, so let's just give that a try. Measure 30, ready? We're gonna do 30 to the end of 33. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect, and then moving on, it's going to be just like we played uh, at the Del Sueño. And then the following measures. All right, so let's take this from the del sueño all the way up to where it says two coda. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Okay, so now moving on, we're still going to be doing a little bit of swing motion, but this is going to sound kind of familiar to what we did in the beginning, except for it's not as intense, I guess. So it sounds like this. All right, so you hear how it's similar, except for it's still a little longer, just because it's now quarter, 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 eighth. It's not like how it was, ta -ha -ha. it's a little bit more closer to what the beats actually are. Okay, so why don't we play that? 38 to, All right, let's just play at the middle of 45, so hitting that rest, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, so the only thing also that makes a difference is 40 going into 41, um, instead of it just being which we've been doing, this one continues on to eighth notes. Okay, 
Okay, so it's a little bit more lyrical right there than what it had been previously. So why don't we do that one more time? All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. And just like I had before, I personally am going to do a day crescendo, which also means to get quieter, to a piano on that D, and I'm going to come back in as a forte on the following D after the rest. You don't have to. That's just what I'm going to do to make it a little more expressive. All right. So then moving on, we're going to have that eighth rest, and then we're going to come back in on our eighth. Okay, so it is just like what we played before. All right, and then we're gonna have like the very, pretty much very similar rhythms coming in, except for this first time, it's gonna just go with the quarter note instead of the eighth notes. And then at measure 50, here, we won't go too far ahead. Let's play from measure 38 until, um, yeah, midway and 55, we'll stop at that rest. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Okay, so now it's going to go back into those rhythms just like we had at measure 18. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to have those same rhythms up until mid 49. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just play the tripleted areas. Okay. So that we're gonna come in at one, two, three, and then triple it. Okay, ready? And that's at 45, the end of 45. One, two, three. All right, perfect. Let's do that one more time in case you were a little bit lost, okay? So we're gonna come in at the end of that first triplet. Ta -da -da. At measure 45, we're going to start at the end of 45. We're going to play at the until the eighth rest in 49. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Now this is where it gets a little bit different, but it's still the triplet trip. You know, triplets on 50, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, except for we have a little bit different notes on it now. And then we go right back into triplets, both two measures back to back. So you might need a little time to work on that one. I don't know if it's the tonguing or just seeing the notes where they jump and where they remain the same. You know what? Let's actually take those measures slowly and then we'll work it faster. So measure 50, let's take this slow, okay? Ready? And remember, these are triplets. One, two, three, four. Perfect, let's take it a little bit faster, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Get in the feel for it. Let's take it a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's try taking it a little closer to speed. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. If you still struggle, no worries. You can always take your time, practice it on your own, use your metronome, whatever you need to do. Fortunately, we have to move on because we are on a limited time here. Okay, so why don't we take it from 
the end of 45, so basically like the pickup note, until, let's stop at that DS, Del Sueño El Coda. Okay, you, know, you see where it says DS? We're gonna stop there. All right, ready? One, two, three. I know we didn't talk about those last two measures. <laughs> I thought they were the same. It's, it gets a little repetitive, which is fine. Okay, so looking at the last two measures. All right, so we have the eighth dotted quarter, then the quick eighth rest, and then going into eighth. But then that last one, we go into eighth into the dotted quarter. Okay, and we'll hear it a lot better with the piano part as well. Okay. So, as a refresher, let's do from the beginning all the way to this DS El Coda. Repeats included. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Okay, so now we hit the DS del Sueño El Coda. So what do you think that means? If you forgot all about the repeats, you can watch it here. But if you remember what your repeats are, the DS El Sueño El Coda means we are going to go back to that del Sueño symbol. So it's going to be measure, what is that? 22, we're going to go back to measure 2. 22. So you can take your pencil, circle it, write in, measure 22, highlight them, whatever you need to do. Just know that the DS El Coda means we're going back to the Del Sueño, okay? So let's go back to the Del Sueño. And then we're going to play until it says two coda, all right? Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, so now where it says to coda, we're going to go on to page three, and the, on the top you'll see that symbol and it says coda. So now we're going to jump to coda to the coda. Okay? So let's go to the coda, but we'll play the pickup note, which is that B right before. 
okay? And then I think everything else rhythm-wise has been stuff we've done. So I think we can finish off the piece. So let's start from the pickup note to the coda, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. And then we have a fermata on the rest, which really doesn't affect us. It just affects the piano or whatever accompaniment goes along. But in our case, it's going to be the piano. Okay. So just to make sure we understand our repeats, I'm going to talk about it one more time. We're going to play through this, just you and me, one more time, and then we're going to play with the piano, okay? So repeats. We have our first repeat at measure 13, okay? 13 takes us to measure four, and then we're going to have the second ending, okay? And then we're gonna play all the way until it's DSL coda at measure 53. Then we're gonna go back to the del sueño at measure 22. We're going to play until the two coda at measure 37. We're going to skip to the coda at measure 54 and play the rest of the song. Okay, I know that sounds really confusing, but hopefully us taking it in sections got you there. Let's play from measure four where we start all the way to the end, all the repeats, the del sueños, the codas, the whole nine yards. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
job. All right, I think we're ready to take it with the piano. If you don't feel that way, remember you're in charge of the lesson here, so you can take your time on things, slow them down, work on sections, but I really do think it'll help when we play with the piano because the piano, like I said, will lead us. All right, so I'm gonna put my headphones on so I can hear the piano too and play along. Okay, so remember, we're gonna have the four beat rest. The piano's gonna play. We're gonna come in at measure four. Excellent job. Now, if you happen to try to play it with the original Imagine Dragon song, it's not going to work. There's a transposition thing. So they wrote it in, uh, this song's in a different key, so it's going to sound a little funky. So this has the piano piece, so make sure you play it with the piano. Also, if you just want the piano track to play along with yourself without me, that's in the description below. You can download it. Also, if you're not shy, I would love to see you play this along with the piano track. So feel free to either send it through email or share it to the Facebook group. All right, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. And then thanks for watching and until next time. <laughs>